Stage two of the Over Energy Tour of Britain would take the riders 174.9 kilometres from Cranbrook to Barnstable. Stage one winner Andre Greipel starting in the Over Energy green jersey. Caleb Ewan keeping the Wahoo Points jersey warm. Nick Lamini in the Skoda King of the Mountains jersey and Matt Bostock in the Red Iceberg Sprints jersey. He had been in the breakaway on day one. Great crowds along the route in Devon. There was an early crash, but the riders were all up and back on their way. They did stop the race at kilometre zero to allow them to get back in. But the attacks came thick and fast from the start. The first climb of the day, China Way Hill, the summit coming at 6.7 kilometers. Slater, Chavanel, Davies keen to get in on the action from the off with Johnny McAvoy of Madison Genesis and Tom Bayliss of One Pro Cycling. Scott Davis, though, of Dimension Data, managed to take the points to try and keep the King of the Mountains jersey within the Dimension Data team. It took roughly 20 kilometers of the stage for the break of the day to form a man who was away on stage one, Rory Townsend, going down in a crash, but he managed to continue. The first iceberg sprint of the day was taken by the Wiggins man, Tegart, head of Eric Rousel and Alessandro Tonelli of Bardiani CSF. Also in the break was Cameron Mayer of Mitchelton Scott. As the rain started to fall and onto no man's land for the second sprint, it was again Tegart of Wiggins ahead of Tonelli with Scott Davies of Dimension Data in third place. The race moved on towards Land Key for the third sprint of the day. Uh, going through the market town of South Moulton, Pannier Market. Matthew Tegut was searching for the Red Iceberg Sprint jersey and he made light work of the final sprint to take maximum points on the day. But the key behind, Tonelli taking another two points for Bardiani CSF with Davis taking one. The race then moved on to Bratton Fleming, the category two climb, the summit coming at 56.1 to go. Scott Davis of Dimension Data attacked to make sure he took a second maximum points over the top. Eric Rousel would take second with a Tonelli in third. Cameron Mayer would crest the summit in fourth. The rain was starting to fall and a crash on the descent. Managed to split the peloton and a few riders went down. Andy Tennant looking one of the worst off. Fairly cut the Canyon Iceberg rider. Niels Pollitt was also down on the deck as was Sylvain Chavanel. At the head of the race, Ian Stannard, Geraint Thomas, Wukash Nishniowski were looking to try and set things up for Wout Pauls, their leader. But on an uncategorised climb in the race, it was Hugh Carthy of EF Education First, Drapak, that went on the attack. He was joined by Matt Holmes of Madison Genesis. But behind a uh, group was forming, Fernando Gaviria of Quick Step Floors had also jumped clear. The race then headed on to Chalicum Hill. The summit with 21.9 kilometers to go, maximum gradients of 13%. This would be the telling point for many riders. The green jersey, Andre Greipel started to drift back out of the peloton, but it was maximum points on the day for Davis, who would take 26 points and pull on the Skoda leader's jersey at the end of the day. Behind though, it was Julian Alaphilippe that had joined up with Hugh Carthy. The three leaders came together with Tonelli and Cameron Mayer. The lead had enjoyed of six minutes and 45 seconds at certain points throughout the day. For Scott Davis, it was not meant to be as Cameron Mayer and Alessandro Tonelli pressed on alone. The gap, though, was coming down towards 10 seconds as a select chasing group of Pauls, Roglic, Jungles, Bevin, Hamilton, Sutton, and Alaphilippe and Carthy came together behind. Bobby Ungles was doing a huge amount of work on the front, but through the Flam Rouge, the two leaders were still holding an advantage. And uh, Tonelli, the bonus seconds, would it be enough for him to pull on the over energy a leader's jersey come the finish? The multiple world track champion and current world points race champion Karamiran Mayer managed to maneuver Tonelli through to the front and having previously been caught in the Tour of Britain in sight of the finish, the Australian made no mistake on this occasion, jumping clear of Tonelli who was wrestling his bike to stay in contact with the flying Aussie who took the stage. 
But crossing the line, it would be enough for Tonelli to finish level on time with Cameron Mayer, and he would pull on the new leader's jersey. The breakaway going all the way to the finish and a stage victory, and deservedly so, for Cameron Mayer of Mitchelton Scott. Cameron Mayer punching the air with delight. Tonelli, a tough day out for him. And Julian Alaphilippe would cross the line with Patrick Bevan of BMC behind. Celebrations all round for the Australian. Andre Greipel crossing the line. And that jersey would change shoulders going on to stage three in Bristol. A great day out for Cameron Mayer, the stage winner in Barnstable. Alessandra Tonelli of Bardiani CSF pulled on the over energy green jersey now level on time with his breakaway companion Cameron Mayer Scott Davis of Dimension Data great day out for the Welshman now the leader in the Skoda King of the Mountains Cameron Mayer also now leads in the Wahoo points competition Confirmation of the stage result, Cameron Mayer from Alessandra Tonelli, Patrick Bevan, Avalip, Sutton and Roglic, Pools, Hamilton, Younger and Carthy are your top ten. The general classification into stage three, Alessandro Tonelli now level on time with Cameron Mayer, Patrick Bevan in third at eight seconds, who will run out the winner.